Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing nominee shareholders. And the first thing out of the gate to go over is nominee shareholders are actually illegal in Thailand. We've done a number of videos about that topic in the past, but the thing to take away, just rule of thumb, it is not legal to be a nominee in Thailand. So, and you'll often hear people use that phrase a lot. Oh, I, well, I need a Thai nominee. Well, you, you know, that's illegal. You, you, cannot, you cannot have a Thai nominee in Thailand. But that being said, the, there are still issues associated with having a 49, 51% shareholder structure on a given Thai company. And people oftentimes will need to do business with a local Thai national. Now the question becomes, is that person a nominee? Did they invest money? Are they, are they actively involved in the running of the business? Or are they just someone that was put down on paper and you never saw them again? Uh, more recently, we've seen circumstances where, especially in the accounting division, where companies we didn't have anything to do with some time ago were formed up and effectively, you know, it's, it's hard not to say that they had kind of a nominee structure because they just sign somebody on to their to their shareholders list and they can't find them you know and and this can be an issue now because oftentimes there's documentation that needs to be filed with things like the audited financial statement that pertain to all shareholders especially a majority shareholder or even a plurality shareholder you know within a within a corporate share structure and if you can't find that person because they're a nominee you're going to have real problems and you could, and there are criminal provisions to the anti-nominee laws here in Thailand, and one could find themselves in a situation where they are, they may be held criminally liable if they, if they find themselves either using a nominee or they find themselves to be a nominee. This is something to really take seriously. Again, that said, there are ways to structure Thai companies in such a way that they comply with all relevant laws. But it's not something to be cavalier about. 